After 73 years, a World War II veteran gets a proper burial at DFW National Cemetery. Missing in action for 73 years, today a World War II soldier from Texas is finally home. CBS 11's Jennifer Lindgren is live at DFW National Cemetery where the funeral service is underway for Private Kenneth Dale Ferris. And Jen, a long time coming for this family. A very long time coming, Russ. The funeral service should be starting in just a few minutes. Uh, Private Ferris's brothers and sisters never stopped looking for him. They traveled the world searching for his remains. And this is an emotional day, but the family tells me there is more joy than sadness. Private Kenneth Dale Ferris, a native of Dodson, Texas, was drafted into World War II at 18 years old. By 19, he was missing, wounded in the Battle of Hurchin Forest in 1944. He disappeared on the way to a first aid station. His youngest sister, Judith Bingham, spent 73 years searching for his remains, traveling to Germany, interviewing fellow soldiers. But it was not until this year, on April 23rd, when she got a phone call that the Army had identified the remains of Private Ferris buried in an unmarked grave in the Netherlands. Three of his four living, living siblings are here today as Dallas Police Honor Guard and the Patriot Guard escorts uh, escort Privus Ferris to his final resting place. Oh, I'd just give anything if my mother knew. I wished so much that um, he could come home. We wanted him home. This is his home. And in the National Cemetery, he'll be with other soldiers like himself. Private Ferris would have been 92 years old today. Part of the funeral service includes a 21-gun salute. He will be buried, uh, interred, I should say, with full military honors. There are a lot of veterans out here today to see him off to his final resting place. Live at DFW National Cemetery, Jennifer Lindgren, CBS 11 News.